South Africa demolished the West Indies by 10 wickets to emerge as the team to beat at the Women's World Cup in England. The Islanders were dismissed for a paltry 48, their second lowest total in history and the sixth in the history of the tournament. CGT and CSWC has more. It certainly has been a dream run for the Proteas who never expected to be in such a commanding position. But the women in green and gold have been building up to it. The captain spoke of possessing the best attack in the competition before ball was even bowled, only for the opening pair of Marizan Cup and Shabnim Ishmael to prove the skipper right. Their figures of 4 for 14 and 2 for 16 respectively reduced the formidable West Indies to 16 for 5 before Fanika spun her way to a record 4 for nothing from 3.2 overs to become the first player, man or woman, to take four wickets without conceding a run in the history of international cricket. Her spin-to-win theory is proving correct in the English conditions, but a stern test awaits against the host England, who will be aiming to bounce back after a shock defeat to India. Should the bowlers fire again for the South Africans, it will make life difficult for their opposition. Still four games to play, though, before the knockout stages, and at this rate, you'd expect to see the team who reached the semi-final 17 years ago back competing for the biggest prize in women's cricket. CS2 Plus C, CGTN, Johannesburg.